Hi Gemini, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you for the week of December the 19th. I do hope you like my background. It's, a, it's Sydney, Australia, my hometown and country, my birth country. And uh, it's the scene of the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. I've actually um, climbed that bridge, which is pretty exciting and scary at the same time, you know. So, and, uh, so this is a reach out to say hi to all my Aussie friends around the world. I hope you, I hope you're all enjoying my backgrounds. All right, let's have a look at what's happening this week. We do have a bit of movement. Uh, the sun is going to leave your um, relationship zone and move into the next house, the eighth house, where Pluto and Mercury are. Now, Mercury, your ruling planet, is going retrograde this week, okay? But it's actually not one of my favorite transits, but actually it sort of really works during this time and in Capricorn because in Capricorn it's more about sort of planning and business, getting solid sort of foundations down of what you want to do. And this is the time of the year to set goals, renew goals. Um, so spend this time and particularly good for uh, m money and very good for cleaning out sort of old uh, outdated sort of attitudes and views as well okay so it's sort of like a good spring clean you know, housekeeping let's say seeing seeing that's not really spring let's call it it's a good time to do some housekeeping in your life and particularly with money and official um, situations you may want to let some things go uh, over this time or certainly you can do more work on them so uh, and get some more clarity in, in that sense uh, and with the Sun moving into this area it does brighten the energy up now Mars is on the move too and Mars is going to move into your career zone okay so in one sense Mercury is sort of saying you know just do your work do do the background research get things together do some planning mars wants to sort of push forward now and that's a great energy okay to have around your work area there even though we're going into the holidays everybody's trying to get that last thing done before the holiday holidays um but you want to be a little bit careful because it's not great to be launching or things or signing things in a mercury retrograde um, period and um, it, you know if you've already started a project before well you know as I say life doesn't always wait for mercury to come out of retrograde you know and if you do have to go ahead and launch something or um, you know sign or seal sign seal delivers something you want to just make sure that you cover all the details you know get someone else's eye critical eye to overlook it okay because you know if business is moving ahead then of course you want to move ahead with it <laughs> um, now um, Venus is in your ninth house so some of you might be will be traveling also it's good for connections and deeper connections with people soul level connections where you can build sort of closer stronger relationships and more depth and that's always a very very nice thing all right so happy holidays to you I hope so you have a fabulous time I still have my uh, psychic astrology readings on sale right through to the end of the year uh, and even if you can't schedule it in this year then um, you know get the booking in because and take advantage of that uh, and here's the website again jenniferangel.com because some of them are up to 50% off so it's a great time to sort of get the get the booking in all right all right love and luck to you have a great week have a, do something fabulous on the holidays even if it is just for yourself and I'll see you next week